Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans and you are watching The Electric Singularity. Great to have you here. Well, very interesting news about a potential battery breakthrough. And sure, we hear about those every day, but I think this one has a huge amount of potential because this battery technology is very similar to solid state, except it's a proven technology right now that I believe could potentially be scalable. It's similar to solid state. However, it's not solid state at all. However, it has the advantage of being able to charge as quickly as a solid state battery. Brisbane's graphene manufacturing group says that its new aluminium graphene battery can charge 20 to 60 times faster than traditional lithium ion batteries. Brisbane based clean technology company Graphene Manufacturing Group says its graphene aluminium ion batteries can charge as much as 60 times faster than the absolute best lithium ion batteries and are also longer lasting and much safer with a lower environmental impact than traditional batteries. Now I should say that Graphene Manufacturing Group is based in Brisbane, Australia. So they're a local company here in the country in which I live and a very promising company. GMG was founded to develop energy storage products using its own in-house proprietary production process that produces GMG graphene from methane rather than, rather than from mined graphite. So there's a huge advantage here in terms of the cost of actually acquiring the graphite. The resulting process produces graphene the company says is high quality, scalable, tunable, boasts low input costs and has low contaminants and which can be used in everything from watches to phones and laptops, all the way up to electric vehicles and grid battery storage systems. It's highly scalable. Now GMG and the University of Queensland announced in April a research agree agreement to develop graphene aluminium ion batteries and additional performance data has been released after the experiments were conducted at the Australian Institute of Bioengineering and Nanotechnology at the University of Queensland. Now as you can see in the chart the power density is extremely high at 7000 watt per kilo and the calculated time to fully charge the average phone battery is one to five minutes. So much, 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 much faster than it takes to, car to charge a lithium ion battery. They're also, the battery is also safer, and less likely to combust. So that's another advantage. So we've got two advantages here that I see. Now, translating these numbers above, GMG's graphene aluminum ion batteries can deliver charging times at a minimum 22 times faster and up to 60 times faster than traditional batteries that we currently use in mobile phones. Energy density differs from power density in that energy density refers to how much energy a battery contains in proportion to its weight, whereas power density refers to how quickly that stored energy can be delivered. So you can see that high power density figure enables the battery to re be recharged very quickly. In both instances, however, the potential benefits of graphene aluminum ion batteries are well in excess of traditional counterparts. Testing and research development continues, but GMG has already signed a license agreement with UniQuest, the University of Queensland commercialization company, which provides GMG an exclusive license of the technology for battery cathodes. Further, the coin cells which were tested are now being produced with an aim to begin customer testing in the fourth quarter of 2021. We are currently looking to bring coin cell com commercial prototypes for customer testing in six months and a pouch pack commercial prototype used in mobile phones, laptops, etc., for customer testing within 18 months, said Craig Nickel, CEO and Managing Director of GMG. We are really excited about bringing this to market. We aim to have a viable graphene and coin cell battery production facility project after customer validation that we were going to build here in Australia. This is a real game-changing technology which can offer a real alternative with an interchangeable battery technology for existing lithium ion batteries in almost every application with GMG's graphene and UQ's patent pending aluminium ion battery technology, said Dr. Ashok Nanjandan, GMG's chief scientific officer. The current nominal voltage of our batteries is 1.7 volts and work is being carried out to increase the voltage to directly replace existing batteries which lead to higher energy densities. So here's the key issue, energy density. 
energy density of this battery is at this stage quite low at between 150 to 160 kilowatt uh, watt out, watts per kilo whereas the equivalent tesla 4680 battery cell which is tesla's new battery battery cells has an have an energy density of about 380 watts per kilo so around about double the energy density or even more for the 4680 battery cell so clearly that's one of their challenges to ramp up the energy density but the real different differentiator about these batteries is their very high power density of up to 7000 watts per kilo which gives them a very high charge rate so the similar benefits like i said to a solid state battery furthermore graphene aluminium iron batteries provide major benefits in terms of longer battery life over 2000 charges discharge cycles testing so far with no deterioration in performance at all battery safety very low potential for fire and lower environmental impact they are more recyclable than lithium ion batteries now guys i realize that there are hundreds of different battery development projects going on like this all over the world and that is what excites me think about if we had have invested all the money that we invested into building petrol diesel gas powered vehicles into internal combustion the complexities of internal combustion the thousands of parts involved if we'd have invested all that time and money into batteries where would we be today well we didn't we chose a different path however we are now on the track of refocusing much of our investment money billions of dollars are being poured into battery development right now as we speak billions of dollars are moving away from developing gas and petrol and diesel powered cars and going into battery technology just imagine where we will be in 10 years time after seeing the results of all those billions of dollars of investment all those minds working on improving battery technology just imagine how important this will be in moving our world away from burning coal and petrol and gas and to a world where we run on 100 percent renewable energy it will happen it may not be tomorrow it may not be in five years i think it'll be in 10 some might say longer but it's just a matter of time before we transition completely thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye bye